far, like, there's, like, a bunch of different versions of the Bible that have been, like, maybe modified, changed around, and, like, if you look at the Quran, there's just one that's been preserved. And there's one. Like, there's, there's one version of the Quran. Well, so that, that's what I'm talking about. There's there's multiple Arabic Quran. So, like, for example, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't believe that. So, so preservation then, you, yeah. you would say that that's really huge for you, okay. Yeah. Okay, so would it be a problem for you if there were different versions of the Quran? Would that be a problem? It, it definitely would be a okay. problem. Because like in Arabic, there's obviously one text. And yeah. the only like really difference is like when you translate it. Yeah. And that's why like, you're taught like when you like study really well in the Quran, uh, you're really taught to learn in Arabic. Yeah. You're even taught to even learn Arabic. That way there is no like second like opinion okay. on like how the Quran is. I agree. Like, I see. Yeah. So what... A, a big thing for, and, and that's usually been a lot of people, when I ask this question, uh, a big thing is the preservation of the Quran, that it's never been changed. It's the only book that has been untouched, you know, perfectly. Um, so for me as a person, like, okay, you know, that's what they're telling me. Let me look into this. When, when, I, when I check that out, though, I find that there are differences. Like there's okay. different, recite there, there's different Qurans. Like uh, the standard Quran is the Hafs Quran and the Quran like they use in... Um, uh, shoot, I forgot where it's called, but they use the, the Warsh Quran. And so, what are you talking about? The, the, so there's a Hafs Quran, the one that you usually read, like the, the one that everyone mostly no, the, reads, the thing is, in and there's Arabic, one. There's, there's one version it, of the Quran. So that, that's what I'm talking about. There's, there's multiple Arabic Qurans. So like, for example, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't believe that. I got you, I got you. So like, uh, okay, good. So we have this. So this one right here, this is, is it upside down? This is the Warsh Quran. You see, there, there, there's one put on in Arabic. So if you think there's a different one in Arabic, then it must be like a, some kind of fake copy of the Quran. I, I promise you it's not. Because look, uh, I promise you. Hold on. Oh, yeah, here it is. So this is, this is the Quran that, um, that you use. This is the Hafs I mean, Quran. There's one in Arabic. So the one that's in Arabic is the one that all, all Muslims So there, Yeah, these are both in Arabic. These are both in Arabic. Right? And so when we, when we put these two together, yep. when we study these, we can find a lot of variants, a lot of differences in them. And you, you say you speak a little bit of Arabic, so I want to, I want to show you an example of what I'm talking about, okay? And thank you for your time. It was nice talking oh, that's to you. it? Yeah, but what was your name again? Avery. Avery, thank yeah. you. It was nice talking to you. Again, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not a student knowledge, I'm not a scholar, I'm just a normal. Yeah, that's fair. Right? Yeah, I, I just want you, I, I'm gonna give you this to, to think about and I'll let you go, okay? Can I, th th thanks for your time though, and nice but can, can I show you just one example, please? Uh, to be honest, like, uh, I don't have a lot of time here, so. I, I just one, I promise, I'll let you go. Just yeah, one. I, I, really, I appreciate the time though, thank you. Okay, thank you. all right, no, no issues. Yeah, take care.